Customers need to know that you understand how they feel and that you're on their side. They should be able to end the conversation on a happy note even when they did not get their way. As a support agent, you can achieve this by successfully expressing empathy. Hi, I'm Ria from the Fresh Disc Academy. Today we're going to talk about the ways in which you can express empathy. Listen actively. Let your customers talk and actively listen to what they're saying. Do not jump to offer a solution to them before they can finish telling you their problem. Once they are done, repeat the problem to them with the same words they used to show that you listened. Half of their issue will be solved when they know that the company is ready to hear them out. Make them a part of the solution. Your customers might expect your product or service to solve a problem that it was not built to solve. Instead of being dismissive or letting them be a part of the problem, ask them what they think the right solution is. This will give them a chance to put themselves in your shoes rather than being against you. Be curious about your customer. Customers hate being treated like they've been figured out when they never had a chance to explain themselves. Express curiosity in how the customer is using your product or service. Ask them how and when they came to face the particular problem that they're reporting. Once they go from being on the offensive to revealing helpful information, the problems will become easier to solve. Respond to the customer's tone. Replying to a customer's excited email with a formal boilerplate is the worst thing you can do. Always respond to the customer's tone. Have a formal informal scale that you're comfortable with and pick the tone that best suits the customer's demeanor. Do not assume, ask. Instead of assuming that the customer did not try the simplest solution to a problem, ask them if they've done it. If you work under assumptions, not only will the resolution be delayed, but the customer will also feel like they're not getting the attention that they deserve. Take their side when they are right. Don't be afraid to take their side. When they are right and the fault is on your company's side, go ahead and say, you're right. The customer will respect you and your company for it. Avoid sympathy. The most important thing to remember when you're expressing empathy is to avoid sympathy. Instead of saying, that must be frustrating, try saying, I can understand how frustrating that is. Being more personal also helps. Instead of saying, the team will resolve this issue soon, try saying, I'm working with the team to resolve this issue as soon as possible. These small changes in the way you express empathy will go a long way in making the customer feel valued. What are the ways in which you express empathy in your customer interactions? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to check out our video on cultivating empathy. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is out. Enroll in the Fresh Disk Academy to download related resources which include a list of empathy phrases that you can use in your customer conversations. The link is in the description below. So until next time, bye and happy supporting.